Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about radio group and radio buttons in Android. So you can find it on in this uh, buttons uh, section. If I come to this buttons section, uh, so I have here this radio group and radio button. So I can drag this. But what is a radio group? A radio group is uh, actually a container for radio buttons. So when we group together radio buttons in a radio group, so we can select uh, one between multiple uh, multiple radio buttons. Suppose I have uh, uh, four color inside the uh, red, green, and uh, uh, blue and yellow uh, in a radio group. So if I select the red one, so all the other will uncheck, and if I select the yellow one then this red one will automatically uncheck so we can check only one radio button inside a radio group but if uh, radio buttons are made without any radio group so then you can uh, uh, check multiple radio buttons at a time so i'll drag in this radio group so i'll uh, go to its code now you can see a radio group here so I'll remove this and uh, I'll close it down here and now I'll uh, give it uh, some fix um, or I will make this a uh, match parent and for a height I will give it uh, uh, 400 dp and now if i go to its design now this is our uh, radio group container so i can drag in radio button inside this so this is our pass button now i'll drag in another one second one then third one and then fourth one now i'll drag in a text view so i'll come to this text section and drag in this text view and now I'll pin it from the top and um, I'll uh, pin it to this side as well as this side now I'll pin this uh, radio group from the top and I'll uh, pin it from this side as well as this side so now I'll change this text on this text view but first I will drag in a button as well so i'll drag in a button down here i can make this uh, a bit small and now i'll close this button here now we have pinned this so now i will pin this button so I'll pin it from the top and uh, you can change the margins from here and I will pin it to this side as well as this side so it will it will remain in the middle of the screen now I'll change the text on each of them so I'll go to code and uh, I'll go down and here I'll make this uh, java this radio button is java and this one is uh, i'll make this java script and uh, i'll change this this radio button to script and uh, i'll change this to uh, dot dot and I'll change this to select your favorite language and here I'll select it radio button 
and now if I go to design so you can see all the text has changed so I have to uh, I will change the uh, color and the size of this text so um, I'll go to this text here I'll use text color uh, add color black and text size uh, 22 dp and now if I go to design now you can see select your favorite language now I'll connect this button as well as this radio group to our main activity.kt file so here I will use uh, wall um, rd group equals find view by id radio group and uh, r dot id dot uh, radio group this last one radio group and now i'll use button wall uh, btn equals find button and um, r dot id dot um, button 2 and uh, now I'll use btn dot set on click list now and I'll use control space here and now on click list now so all selected btn radio button equals um or the group dot period dot check button id and so this is showing an error because this is not radio button this is a end end and uh, now down here I'll get the radio button so wall btn uh, equals um, find view by id um, this is radio button and uh, selected btn and now and post we will show the button text so the mac text this comma and uh, now here we will use uh, btn dot uh, uh, text and comma uh, toast dot then short and dot show and now uh, I will run first the emulator so now let's run the app so now the application is running on the device so if I go to this device and select this Java and now if I select this re selected radio button so Java is printed here now if I select another radio button so the first will uh, one will automatically uncheck this is because of radio we have um, grouped together these radio buttons inside a radio group if it was not in a radio group so each one will be selected so if I select this so now Swift is printed here so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you